welcome back to my channel. It wouldn't be FIFA without a special Forenzi card. And they've gone and given him a 97 premium footies card. And it looks pretty saucy. And I'm going to do a player review on him. So let's have a closer look at this card. He has got high medium work rates. Which could be a little bit interesting. Especially if you want to play him at CDM. Which is where I'm planning to play him. Four star skill moves. Five star weak foot. Not going to complain about him because he's mainly playing in midfield. And I'm not really a huge skiller anyway. Positions wise, yes, he's got centre mid. But you could also put him at right back if you want to. The good old classic frenzy right back card. Player traits wise, he's just got the long shot taker. Don't know how many long shots I'm going to be taking with him. But it would have been again like a sort of similar situation with some of the other Footies cards would have been nice to maybe add a couple of player traits, right? Because we've only got like a month left until the end of FIFA 23 cycle is over. So it would be nice to source it up a little bit more. But let's have a closer look at these in-game stats. And only five of these in-game stats are under 90. And most of those you're not going to complain about too much. Attack positioning. If you're playing in a defensive role, do you really need that attack positioning up? Curve could boost that if you want a little bit, but I'm not too bothered by that. Strength being the lowest stat at 82, but he might be a little defensive monster anyway with 82 strength. And if you really want to, you can just boost the strength anyway with a chem style. 92 sprint speed, but I'm going to be playing a shadow on him, so that's going to get that up to 99 anyway. But it is pretty nice across the board. Nice dribbling, nice passing. Good like physicality outside of that strength stat as well. Here's the team that I'm going to be using him in. He's going to be playing at CDM. But let's get into a game and see how good he is. And hopefully he's going to be a nice little beast. His first action is an attacking action. And he skied that shot a little bit. Okay. Bit of a tag team situation with Chewy. Oh no, come on, man. Okay, Forenzi's won the ball back there. I uh, forgot to say anything with the goal that's conceded, and he's on the attack. But he doesn't keep hold of that. He, I think he was a, a bit to blame for the first goal that's conceded in this one. Okay, come on. Ah, oh, he's got passed with Paul Skulls on the Florenzi. Uh, but Florenzi gets the interception there on the edge of the box, which is nice. And we can start an attack thanks to that. Right, Florenzi, where are you? You're on the edge. As a CDM would be. And that w wasn't your fault in some ways, Florenzi. That was my fault that I conceded that. Wasn't paying attention too much about that pass, and that was a bad position to be given a ball away, really. Go on then. Frenzy tried to go in for the ball there, but didn't quite make it. Gomez comes up. Frenzy is in a very high position right now. Gets the ball out to Cole. Cole to Florenzi. Now Florenzi's high up the pitch. Didn't win it. Work rate's probably being a little bit of a problem. I'm watching him. He's coming back. He's coming back. But is he going to get into the box? No. Wasn't needed anyway. Is he any good at taking corners? Let's see. That was whipped in nicely. We do actually win the header there. But straight at the goalkeeper though. Right. Come on. Win the ball back. You do. Nice. Okay, is that going to... That's going to Cole. Frenzy. Nice, simple through ball. Rudiger. Hits the post. Frenzy doesn't get any assist in that situation. Okay, there we go. Nice. He did nearly get... Went to Tesco's, but we do... Still have the ball. And um, Florenzi's there inside the box. Take the shot. Nope. Blocked. And he's still inside the box. 
Uh, never mind. He's got to run back now and uh, try and do some defending. Never mind. Chewie's got that sorted. Right, Frenzy. What are you doing, mate? What is it with the CDM sometimes and always just standing there on the edge of the box? He does seem... He does like getting forwards a bit. This is where I feel centre mid might be his better position because he likes getting forward and he's managed to get a goal for me. Nice pass. Is that going to be another goal for me? It is. And he's won the ball back there. Nice. Now I think we've sorted it out with the play instructions and stuff. He's actually doing a bit better defensively and he gets the interception there as well. But now he's gone forwards. Now what are we going to do here? Pass the ball out. Because we want you to get back, don't we? Is that going to count as a forensic assist there? <laughs> and it's my other CDM that gets a goal this time. So both my CDMs have got a goal. Okay. Nice. Good. Wonderful pass to Cole. Who keeps hold of the ball, but gets the shot blocked. Not going to get beaten by Skulls this time. Right, you want... Oh, no. No, 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 no. You don't want to be beaten by Skulls. Ah, it's offside. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, nice bit of skill, but we lose the ball at the end of the skill. Can that be another assist? Nope. De Gea makes a save. Parsons pretty good with him. There's the stats from the first game. I forgot to change my formation in the first half. But in the second half, I did play in the right formation. One goal, two assists from CDM isn't too bad. Okay, good. Winning the ball back there from Di Natale. It's going to be the Battle of Italians, I think. And... Perfect position to get the interception there. Go. Oh, is that going to be onside or is that offside? Doesn't matter as the shot has gone completely wide. Okay. Nice. Nicking the ball back there. Although, I would say you were in a high position there, Florenzi. Alright. Get you in. Oh, no. That's going to be a goal. Oh, wow. That is a nasty goal to be conceding. Okay, you need to give the ball away again, but he won it back. And he's going forwards. Try a distance shot. Hmm, the long shots might be actually a thing. But it was a good save from De Gea. No, De Gea? I think that was actually Old Black. From the corner! There we go, Ferenzi takes the corner and we get a goal from it. Thank you very much, Martinelli. Okay, where are you, Florenzi? Oh my god, I nearly conceded a similar fashion goal there. And Florenzi was high up the pitch, straight off the bat from winning possession back. Just got a goal, and the guy's quit. Stats in this game, he's got an assist from the corner. He's got the highest uh, match rating from all my players as well. So, realistically, I am getting the impression when he's playing that CDM in comparison to, like, um, my other CDM, Drew Many, his positioning is a little bit further up on the pitch. He also seems to not quite get back as quicker as Drew Many. Maybe that's because of his height and Drew Many being lengthy as well, which means that he's, in some ways, got that ability to get back a little bit quicker. So there is that maybe little bit of a downside with him playing at CDM. However, as a centre mid, in I think he's going to be absolutely amazing. Like he's got the passing ability. He's got the ability to dribble. You could do some skill moves with him. Yeah, okay, you can't do five-star skill moves, but still going to be a good card for that. He can actually shoot. Like he, he is uh, like the Florenzi cards in previous FIFAs. I think it's a bonus that he's a premium footies. The fact that you'll just easily be able to slot him into a team on full cam and have all these different various leagues and stuff like that going on in the team and not have to worry too much about it. That's a card worth picking up and I'm going to leave the player review at that. If you 
get the Florenzi and you try him out, let me know what you think of him in the comments section. If you have any questions also, feel free to put those in the comments section. But thank you for watching this player review and I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye bye guys.